Hey, how's it going everyone? WTF Sexy Headphones here. It's kind of been a while. Um, I obviously haven't been really doing any kind of recordings. And honestly, I've had the internet to do it. I just have kind of been really lazy and I've been kind of tired. I've been doing a lot of moving between one house to the other and we're not fully moved in yet. This week we should fully be 100% moved in, but we've been kind of taking it like... Me and my mom have been moving most of our stuff in the boxes like together, so it's been kind of tiring. And I've been doing painting and things like that, so... I haven't really had the energy or want to really record, so I'm sorry about that. I'll potentially try this week, but I could be a chronic liar. I'm not quite sure yet. We'll see how it goes. Because, again, like the final move of everything should be happening this week. So there's that. I will try and potentially be less sucky. But I don't know yet. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure you guys are wondering why all of this. Well, my friend is Shadow6 Gaming, for whatever reason, was like, I want you to dress dirty in your Monday vlog. And I'm very open to suggestions because to me, I find it fun and exciting. And I got nothing better to do, really. So, I mean, when people suggest me things, and if it's like within my realm of the possibilities of which I can do, I'll be like, you know, why not? Like, what else am I going to do? So I tried to get as nerdy as I could. I wore whatever this is. Um, I still don't know why I have this. I bought this. It was like one of those random purchases that I bought because it was really soft. And I'm like, I don't know if I'll ever wear this, but it's so soft. Anyway, and then I have this little bow tie oh, and glasses. And that's, as I can't really think of what to do for nerdy. I wasn't really sure what to do. Um... So there, there you go. I hope this meets whatever you were thinking of, Australian friend. I, and I hope this wasn't to fill some kind of creepy fantasy. I'm going to feel a little bit weird about that. Anyway, you guys. So that's what's been going on. Sorry I haven't been recording. And now, like a lot of people on YouTube, I'm just going to rant a little bit about YouTube. <laughs> So obviously, as you guys know, there's the whole Google Plus thing going on, which I don't think anyone fucking likes because Google is a great thing and YouTube is a great thing. But when Google, wait, which one did I say was Google? This one? Wow, I'm so brain dead. <laughs> but when Google, I'm going to say this one's Google, but when Google tries to freaking take over fucking YouTube, like this is Nazi Germany and this is Poland. Like, there's a fucking problem with that. Like, we like Google as Google, and we like... Sorry, I'm trying to keep my hand on screen, but I can't really see because I'm trying to stare at the camera. But anyway, but when Google tries to freaking take over YouTube and make YouTube become like Google, like, it's just, it's terrible. And it's really annoying, and I've been forced to do... I've been taking Google Plus on and off my account because it'll annoy me, then I'll take it off, and then I'll realize I'll need it again because it's like, oh, you can't comment on things. And then I freaking put it back on. So that's been pissing me off because I can't find my inbox. I mean, I found it now, but I never know when I have messages for the most part because I can't see them. It's like when you hit your drop down little settings thing, it's like here is like four or three YouTube settings and here's a list of Google settings. And I'm like, where the fuck's my inbox? I got a message saying that I got a message, like, like a, a notification saying that I got a message. And then I deleted it right afterwards and went to YouTube uh, instead of rather clicking the link because I didn't do that. And I don't, I, don't, I don't know where the fuck it is. And I'm just looking around like, how the fuck do I get to my inbox? And then I just leave it. And then I forget that people message me. So if I'm slow to messaging you guys, I'm sorry. But it's hard for me to rem remember I have messages when I can't see my inbox. I found how to get it now or get to it now and it's just, like I go through like video manager and then you see like inbox on the left side or something it's really stupid but if I'm slow if any of you guys message me and I forget about it for like a week I'm sorry about that I just it's, it's freaking retarded and then there's another thing I've been getting the notifications saying people have joined my circle I don't know what my circle is I don't know what's in it I don't know why you guys are in my circle I don't know if we're like a posse, we're gonna start like a breakdance group or something. I'm not really sure what the hell's going on, but I keep getting notifications of people joining my circle. I don't know what this circle is. I don't know what's there. I don't know why you guys are there. I don't know why I own this circle. 
can any you know just can anyone tell me what the fuck that is like what does that even do like people are joining my circle is that like the google plus version of i subscribed i'm not really sure but there's that so there's another piece of confusion and here's one thing that was driving me nuts about the comments besides the fact that sometimes I'll hit reply on people and I'll hit post and it's like, you can't reply to this comment. Does anyone know why the fuck I can't reply to that comment? What the hell is happening in the universe that I cannot reply to? Like, I can reply to all the others, but this one person, it's like, you know what? No, like, we don't want you talking to that person. Like, it's, it's, it's like Google Plus is like this bitchy teenage popular clique that's all like trying to control everyone else. Like, oh no, you can't talk to them. That's... That's bad, don't talk to them. Like, like they're trying to fucking control us and it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But anyway, so besides that, I replied to a rather heated topic on a video, which was a video about people microwaving a PlayStation 4. Um, and you can imagine all the different types of comments that comes with that. There's a lot of people who are like, oh, it's funny and it's apparently art. I'm doing this a lot. But it's apparently art, which is dumb. And then like people like me who are like, that's a, even if it's your money, that's still kind of a waste. Like, what kind of generation of people are we that we have no value for our stuff anymore? Like, that's kind of how my thought process essentially is in a case like this where that's so much money and you just waste it away like that. But anyway, so I replied to someone's retarded comment about how Sony is bad because it can't stand being put in a microwave. It's just fucking dumb, goddamn it, internet. And I got a billion rep well, I don't think I got a bunch of replies, but I got a, like 22 messages and it's all like this person replied to this and this person replied to this and this person, but I don't think they were replying to me. I think they were replying to the person that I replied to who said something about how Sony's bad because it can't be put, it, like their products can't be fucking microwaved. And I think that it was updating me on everything everyone was replying to him. But the thing is, is every time like I would click on it to go see where these comments were stacking up at, it just took me to the top page of the comments and I could not even find where these were like, I don't know what's going on, you guys. I'm like getting notifications and people aren't even replying. They're not even talking to me, which is perfectly fine because I hate when I hate when that happens. When I like send a message and it somehow becomes a popular comment and I have a thousand replies and I'm like, fuck, I should have never commented. But, but I'm getting replies on things that are just... Like, no one's even messaging me. No one's even replying to me. They're replying to some other random person. It's like, this person said this to this person, this person. And it's like, I don't fucking care what they said to each other. I don't care. And then when you click on it, because I'm trying to see where all this is stacking up and how it is that I'm involved in it, and all I see is just the latest comments or however the fucking system works. That's all I'm seeing. And I'm like, I don't even know where this discussion is taking place. All I know is I'm getting notifications for it. When I try to find it, clicking via the notification links, I can't find it. <sighs> so if anyone can explain Google Plus to me slightly more, that would be great. Because I am confused and I... And I actually truly, like many people, hate Google Plus really so much right now that I really don't want to try to understand it, which probably just circles the vicious problem. But what can I say? It's just, it's just really annoying and it's just... But that brings it into a next topic. So what are, I was curious actually about this and because I feel like you guys are all some decent, awesome folks. Um, what would your guys' response be to someone who microwaves something they spent 400 and some odd dollars on? Because I was thinking about this when watching that video, because there's a lot of people who are like, it's in the name of art. I fucking hate when people slap the name of art on everything. It's bullshit. But there's some people who are like that. Um, there's some people who are like, who cares? It's his money. He does what he wants. Uh, there's some people who are like, you can feed children in Africa with that money. And then there's people like me who just like, question society and how we are as a group of people that we just don't have value for our stuff because I remember being a kid where I would have to save up like I remember I had to save like my parents wouldn't get me a PlayStation 2 like I had to save her which is fine like I mean I'm all for teaching the value of things and I had to save up like 150 or so dollars for a PlayStation 2 because I waited like three four years after it already came out before trying to get one um 
And so like, you know, I had a lot of value for that. I'm like, I spent all this money on this, you know? And I remember those days of just having so much value for your stuff because you realized like, you know, this is a good thing to have. Like you earned it, you worked for it. It was a generous gift to you. So like to me, like to take like something that's like so much money and to fucking just microwave it and completely destroy it. Like, I think that's just wasteful. And it just makes me think that as society and as a lot of our generations today, we're just getting extremely, um, fuck, I just had the word and now I lost it. We're just getting ah, spoiled. I think that was potentially, was I feel like as a generation and society, we're getting extremely spoiled with all that we can have that we're not really valuing our stuff anymore. And to me, it kind of makes me sad to be part of that generation in society because, I mean, we all take things for granted. It happens. I take things for granted all the time. But, I mean, it seems like we're just getting worse and worse and we're becoming more spoiled brats that just, like, are so quick to waste away things for the sake of entertainment or whatever. So, and that's how I also really realize I'm getting more mature. Like, when I watched the Superman movie, um, I, had to, I had to watch a Superman movie because that movie was filmed around the area that I grew up in, in Illinois, and even actually part of the town that I grew up in, the town next over. And when he starts destroying all of Chicago in an attempt to save it, all I think is, damn, that's gonna take forever to clean up. Like, how much damages and people do you think are dying right now because buildings are being destroyed and no doubt there's people in those buildings and they're killing thousands of people and then this is gonna take forever to clean up and it's gonna take so much money to clean up. Like this is what I, and I feel like such an idiot because I watch movies like this and you're supposed to enjoy the ridiculous nonsense of it and instead all I worry is about the damages and then I feel like a total ridiculous mofo. But I gotta say I did enjoy Superman. You, can, you know what I mean? Oh, that guy was really fine. He, except he looked better before he was Superman when he's kind of like lumberjacky and scruffy and rustic. Oh my god. If you guys seen that movie when he like comes out of the water after like that whole oil rig field thing and then he's like his clothes are half burnt. Oh yeah. <sighs> that was a good part of the movie. Anyway. So what is your guys' opinion? Like what stand would you take? And by all means if, if you think I'm like a stiff up type person, like feel free to say so. Be like, you know what, you're taking it too seriously. It's just whatever is there. But I want but I'm curious to see what you guys would think. Like 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 do you care? Do you not care? Are you for this side? Are you for another side? Like, let me know. Cause I'm curious about that stuff. Holy crap, I totally forgot that I had these. And I could have wore these all throughout the video, but I guess I can wear them for story and fact time. And so you guys know, if you're wondering why I have these, I got them at work. They're like an advertisement for the new Super Mario game, or I don't even know if the word's super in it, Mario game that's coming out. And he has like cat-like abilities or something. But anywho, story time and fact time. And I don't know, I really, really need to go through my videos and write down which facts and stories I told because I'm starting to forget which ones I've told. It's getting to that point. And I don't know if I told you guys this one. I think I did in one episode, but I never put that episode up because there was complications. So we're going to try it again. And if I told you guys this, I'm sorry. So I call this one, and actually I brought this up in a stalker video, I think, once. But unless you guys seen that specific video, you still wouldn't know what I'm talking about. So I call this one my high-speed chase story just because it's a great title. And essentially, this is how it goes. Me and some friends halfway through class, my classes were four hours long, and so at break, at like a two hour like point at break or whatever, we decided we didn't feel like going back to class. So we decided to go to Cold Stone and get ice cream instead because that sounded way much more exciting than going back to class, which was like a web page scripting class, which was very, very boring. Um, so where our school, where, or where I went to school, um, was like it's a decent area but there's like a ghetto-ish mall nearby and so it was near there and we start driving on back and it's kind of like a giant circle around the mall which I think how it is in most around malls and we come up like this one like car like nearly cuts us off or something like that and they just kind of pull in front of us so I just go around them I'm like whatever I don't rage all that too much in driving so I'm just like fuck it just gonna go around you whatever and then they somehow like catch up to the side of us and my friend Amira who's with me decides I don't remember how she started but I think she decides to wave to them or something and I'm like 
Oh, don't fucking wave to them. They're in a ghetto mobile. There's like two or three dudes in it. And I'm like, they look ghetto as fuck. They're in a really ghetto car. We're practically in the ghetto right now in this area. And you're waving to random people. I'm like, you need to stop. And then, so they wave back. And then I'm just still driving. They're alongside this way. I'm over here. And we're just kind of like, Phew. And I, she keeps doing something. She's like smiling or waving. She's just being... A little bastard. And I'm like, dude, we're gonna get shot. We're gonna get shanked. They're gonna fucking call their posse and we're gonna get lit up. I'm like, you need, I'm like, stop socializing with these hooligans, young child. And so we start driving down and we get out of the mall area and there's, and now they're keeping alongside of us. Like, if I speed up, they speed up. If I slow down, they slow down. And then, so now I'm just in on it too. So now, Again, I really don't remember most of the hand gestures that we were doing. I think we were doing some of the ghetto, like, nod kind of thing. I, didn't, I think we did that at one point. And then I sped past them, and then they sped past me, and then I sped past them. Kind of like some awkward racing thing going on. And at one point, they took their sweet time catching up. So when they tried to spam past it, I did, me and my friend did, like, the whole, like, Oh, you got a small penis because I won kind of thing. We did like one of those and stuff. And then like it wasn't, the place wasn't far from the school. So I go and I turn into the parking lot. And as uh, my parking lot's two stories or whatever. And so as I'm like turning in, one of my friends, like I had a couple friends with me. One of my friends is like, hey, they're turning around. <laughs> and I'm like, what do you mean they're turning around? I'm like, are you sure? And they're like, yeah, they're fucking coming back. And I'm like, are you guys fucking serious? Like, are you kidding me? I'm like, this is what I've been fucking talking about. This is where we get shot. This is where we get kidnapped. I'm like, great. Now they're trying to fucking follow us. I'm like, I don't want these people to freaking talk to me. I don't want to talk to them. I don't want them to know what I look like or something like that. Cause I guess they could have seen me through the window. So I guess they potentially, know. you know, whatever. But anyway, so I drive, like I like shoot my car up to the second part of the parking garage. And I'm thinking, okay, Maybe I'll just, it's like, it's dark, it's nighttime. Maybe I'll just pull to the right where all the other cars are and see if I could blend my car in with all the other cars. And then I realize I have a fucking teal looking Jeep. It is a teal colored Jeep Cherokee. You can't hide a teal Jeep. You just can't. There's just no possible way to hide a teal looking Jeep. So I'm like, fuck. So I take a left and there's no one, no one ever parks on the left. So I take a left and I go around and I turn my lights off like a freaking boss. And I'm like, okay, what do we do? What do we do? I'm like, we gotta figure out how to avoid them. So we see them come up the parking garage because obviously they've seen enough of where my car went. We see them like come up and we see them take a right, which is the direction I decided not to go on. I'm so smart. So then I like quickly do like a U-turn and I like fly down like the other side and I like fly down the ramp and I still have my headlights off and it wasn't until I saw a security guard that I'm like, oh, I should probably turn my headlights on. And then I just hightailed it the fuck out of there while they circled the top of the parking lot like a bunch of creepy people. And then I decided to take one of my friends home to where they lived instead of drop them off at school because I'm like, I'm not going back there, man. I'm like, I'm not going to go back there. I'm like, they're going to be there. They're going to be waiting for me. I'm gonna get kidnapped. You're gonna get kidnapped. We're all gonna get kidnapped. And that was what I call my high speed chase story, which really doesn't quite do the title all that much justice. <laughs> but it was pretty exciting to us. And my friends thought that my outstanding ability to completely lose a tail was phenomenal. So I felt pretty badass. Though I gotta say, I was paranoid the whole time I drove home. Every time I was at a stoplight, I was like looking around, like, oh my god, they're gonna be over there. Like, I was trying to make sure they weren't next to me. And thankfully, I've not run into them again, so. <sighs> Didn't mean to brag, but I'm pretty, pretty amazing. Anyway, so, a fact about me, I like to tell people that my German name is T-Crex. And the reason for that being is, I was playing German Scrabble one time. And for any of those who might not know and wonder why the fuck I would play German Scrabble when just normal Scrabble is terrible enough, I was in a foreign language residence program my first year of college, majoring in German, and we had to do German things, part of the residence program, don't want to explain it all. But anyway, so we were playing Scrabble, and I just didn't do well with spelling in German, let alone speaking in it, because I was in German 101 and 102 that first year, so I didn't really know much stuff, and I really wanted to get rid of all my letters, and I had enough letters to spell out the word, like all my letters combined spelled out T-cracks, so I tried maneuvering it onto the board, 
and saying that that was my German rapper name to get rid of all my letters. Which our German native speaker Stefan didn't buy and he made me take my letters back. And I don't think I got anywhere. I think I lost. But yeah, so you guys want to know my German rapper name? T Crack Son. There's a lot of ghetto in this episode now. Went from being nerdy to a lot of ghetto stories. <laughs> Oh, what a combination. Anyway, I'm gonna go, I gotta go drive to the new location and potentially repaint my room all over again. So, catch you guys later, bye. Feel my power.